Hello and welcome back to another video. Here we are going to discuss today the, what are the probability distributions and discrete random variables. This is one topic from the Cambridge Statistics 1 9709 and in this video we will be focusing on the four topics that is what are the discrete random variables, the probability functions that is sometimes called PDF and expectation of a discrete random variables and the variance of a discrete random variables. So let us start. The first topic is a random variable and random variable is a quantity that can take value determined by the outcome of a random random events. For example, we are throwing the two dice and then we calculate the sum of the numbers, sum of the scores appears on the top and the product of the scores appears on the top. So we can represent it by that those are called random variables. So generally we take it by capital X or capital letters like capital Y also. So these are the random variables. So we need to know that random variables like we can determine by any outcomes, any outcomes of the random events. So the next one is the X is discrete. This is a discrete random variable. If it is a discrete random variable, it means it takes the values like R1, R2, R3 and all with the probability P1, P2, P3. So it means that the probability of X is equal to R1 is P1. So R1 is connected to P1 and so on. And all the PIs are, all the probabilities are greater than or equal to 0. That is non-zero, non-negative, non-negative probabilities. And in such a way that the sum, the sum is sum of all the probabilities is like that is total probability is one. So if we need to prove that a random a, a, a random variable is a discrete random variable, if it takes the values, it takes the values like non distinct values R1, R2, R3, and its probabilities are greater than or equal to zero. In such a way, if we add all those probability, that should be one. So this is it and next one is like uh, the probability distribution. Probability distribution means if the distributions are attached with the probability that is called probability distribution. So that is probability distribution and the next one is probability function. Probability function is a formula Px and it is generally comes with the with a constant k. k can be 1 by 6 or anything. The only thing is like the probability functions give you the probability. It means P of X will never be more than or equal to more than one, more than one. And why? Because we know that if it is a probability function, so it's a discrete random variables. If we add all the probabilities like K1, K2, K3 and K4, then that should be one. So K will always be less than one. And we can say that probability is just a formula which gives you the probability. So the next one is the mean or expected value. Mean or expected value from the for the discrete probability distribution, discrete random variables is denoted by mu or E of x, mean or expected value. And it is like if we take the sum of all the products of R i's and its corresponding probabilities like R i's and P i's and their sum. So it's like if you multiply R1 with P1 and R2 with P2 and R3 with P3 and so on and you add them, that is uh, that will give you the mean or expected value. The next one, next thing is like variance. The variance where sigma is the standard deviation and variance is given by sigma square and it is the uh, expectation, expected value of X square minus the square of expectation of x that is the variance of x so it is very useful if you require to get the variance though the variance is the uh, average of the square distance from the mean that is summation of summation of x minus mu whole square upon n so it's like variance is expectation of x square minus square of expectation of x. So let us start with some example that will clear all the doubts from the related topic. Here is the question number 1. Uh, for x 1, 
2, 3, 4 and 5 since they are distinct. So we can start with that like they are distinct uh, discrete random variables. For that we have to prove that uh, summation of all these probabilities is uh, 1. So how to find this find A the first question is find A and we know that it is a discrete random variable. So if we will add all the probabilities that should be 1. So it means 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus A plus 0 0.1 should be 1 or we can write it as 0 0.23567 so it is 0 0.7 plus A is equal to 1 so that is why A become 0 0.3 so A is equal to 0 0.3 next is how to find the expectation of x that is expected value of x and we know that expected value of x is summation of x and their corresponding probabilities. So it means 1 corresponding to its probability plus 2 into corresponding probability plus 3 into its corresponding probability and 4 into its corresponding probability and the last one is 5 into its corresponding probability. So it becomes 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus 1.2 plus 0.5 and that is 5, 2, 7, 3, 10, 10, 17 and it becomes 1, 1, 2. So the expected value is 2.7. So the next one, third one is what is the expectation of x square? So expectation of x square from here the formula would be earlier if it was expectation of x then it is summation of xp if it is summation uh, expectation of x square then it would be x square p. So 1 square and its corresponding probability which is going to be same as this. So we will solve this and we will get and that is 5 8 13 9 22 30 and 33 3. 3 to 5, 4, 9 and it is 9.3. So expectation of x squared is 9.3 and hence the last one we can find the variance of x and variance of x a wonderful formula is uh, to how to remember the expectation of x square minus square of expectation of x and we have calculated both of them that is 9.3 minus 2.7 square and we will get this value from the calculator it is 2.01 so this is and let's do the next question to clarify it more here's the second question the probability distribution why it is probability distribution because this is uh, the minus 3 minus 1 0 and 4 are attached with their probability that's why it is probability distribution if it is attached with frequency then it is frequency distribution so of discrete random variable x is shown in the table below and given that expectation of x is 0 0.75 find the values of a and b. If we have two unknowns then we require the two equation to solve it. So since it is given that it is random variable discrete random variable. So from the first uh, condition like discrete random variable we know that if we add all the probabilities that is a plus b plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.4 that should be 1. So from here we will get it as a plus b is equal to it is 0.15 plus 4 it is 0.55. So 1 minus 0 0.55 is 0 0.45. So from first one first condition we got a plus b is equal to 0 0.45. Next one is expectation is expectation of x is 0 0.75 that is summation of xp means if we multiply the value corresponding to uh, with their corresponding probability then that is 0 0.75. So it is going to be minus 3a plus the plus 1 into min minus 1 into b that is minus b plus 0 plus 4 into 0.4 that is 0 1.6 that should be 0 0.75 given. So from here we can calculate uh, this is negative so I will bring it that side and we got it as 1.6 minus 0 0.75 is equal to 3a plus b or 3a plus b is equal to 
1.6 minus 0 0.75 it is 0 0.85 this is equation number 2 now we can get the value of a and b from here uh, let's subtract the equation 1 from equation 2 and we will get 3a minus a 3a minus a is equal to b minus b cancelled and 0 0.85 minus 0 0.45 that is 0 0.4 and hence we will get it as 2a is equal to 4 so a is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.4 over 2 that is 0 0.2 so a value is 0 0.2 and when we will replace this value in the equation number 1 so we will get b is equal to 0 0.45 minus 0 0.2 so it is 0 0.25 so that is how we can get the value of a and b so let's do the next here's the question number three the random variable x has probability function as given as this means for x value 3 4 5 this function is k x and for 6 7 8 it is k into 11 minus x and where k is a constant and we need to show that k is equal to 1 by 24 so since it is a random variable this is a probability function so it means if we find if we sum all the probabilities this is a probability only if we add all the probabilities that should be 1 so it means summation of all the pi's is equal to 1 it means from here we can say uh, for p1 that first probability it would be at x is equal to 3 so it become 3k plus 4k plus 5k because x k x is there plus now for 6 7 8 this is the formula so k into k into 11 minus 6 11 minus 6 plus k into 11 minus 7 plus k into 11 minus 8 that should be 1 or we can write it as 24k is equal to 1 and that's why k would be 1 by 24 so that's the first part let's do the second part find the exact value of expectation of x exact value of expectation we know that expectation of x is expectation of x is summation of xp the value and its corresponding probabilities and here p is like probability function so we can write it as x of f of x because if the probability function is given then expectation will work like this and that is uh, for 3 its probability is 3 into k that is 3 by 24 plus next 4 4 into its probability is k 4 4 k that is 4 over 24 plus 5 into its probability that is 5 over 24 plus uh, this is for 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, it is going to be if you put x is equal to 6 here first of all and into its probability that is 11 minus 6, 5, 5k that is 5 over 24 and then 7 into 11 minus 7, 4 over 24 and plus 8 into 3 over 24 that is the expectation and we will calculate we can take 24 common and we so altogether it become 132 so 132 over 24 it is going to be 11 over 2 so this is the uh, value or we can write it as 5.5 so that is the exact value of expectation uh, of x now let's do the second part c part find the variance of x we know that variance of x is expectation of x square minus square of expectation of x so we have expectation of x we need to find the expectation of x square so let's find expectation of x square expectation of x square is again summation of x square and its corresponding probability that is probability function in this case so it would be in, in uh, it is going to be same as this the only difference will be it, it here would be square 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 and square and all so let me write it so it is 3 square into the probability 4 square into this 5 square into the probabilities so this will solve and we'll get this as 
So it is 784 by 24 and that is 32.66 6 and all. So I'll take it as 32.67 and hence the variance which is expectation of x square minus square of expectation of x it is going to be 32.67 minus 5.5 square and which is going to be 22.2.41 and all so it is going to be 2.42 correct to 3 significant figure this is the answer. Here is the fourth question a discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution write down the value of p we know that it's a discrete uh, random variable so if you add all the probabilities it must be 1 so it means 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus p plus 0 0.1 it is 1 and hence the p would be 1 minus the sum of this 437 plus 1 8 so it is 0 0.8 and hence the p value is 0 0.2 and the second part is given that expectation of x is 2.5 so expectation of x by formula it is going to be summation of x into its corresponding probabilities so 1 into 0 0.4 plus 2 into 0 0.3 plus n into p that is 0 0.2 n plus 7 into 0 0.1 so it is 0 0.7 it is equal it is given as 0 uh, it is given as 2.5 2.5 so we'll solve it it is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 n plus 0 0.7 is equal to 2.5 and from here we can transfer the this number 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 1 plus 7 that is 1.7 and hence it become 2.5 minus 1.7 and that is 0 0.8 and hence n would be 0 0.8 over 0 0.2 that is 4 so n is 4 next is uh, find the variance so of course for that purpose we require the expectation of x square as well that is summation of x square into the corresponding probabilities that is 1 square into 0 0.4 plus 2 square into 0 0.3 plus n square that is 4 square into p that is 0 0.2 plus 7 square into 0 0.1 and it is 0 0.4 plus 4 3 is a 12 1.2 plus 4 16 to the 32 3.2 and it is 7 7 is a 49 4.9 and it is it is 9.7 so expectation of x square we got so ultimately we have the variance of x just by the using the formula expectation of x square minus square of expectation that is 9 points and sit square and we'll get it as 3.2 four five that is the variance of the x so that's it i hope it was of some help let's meet in the next video thank you so much